Wow, Heritage Sports Podcast, what a game. The Celebration Bowl live recap starts now. Jackson State versus North Carolina Central University. They go into overtime. North Carolina Central pulls it out. Uh, It was a back and forth game. I mean, back and forth. I mean, wow. Uh, At the end, I think uh, there were just too many drops, too many mistakes on Jackson State's side. Dion and Jackson State have gone 0-2 for the Celebration Bowl. Um, unfortunately, they didn't finish the mission. But let's get to the game. Let's get to the game. Back and forth game. And when you when you look at it, NCCU held the ball for so long throughout the game. I, I mean, I think if you had to boil it down, the losses on Jackson State's defense, they got beat up and leaned on by the offensive line. Aubrey Miller, Aubrey Miller was not dominant. Before the game, ESPN actually showed – North Carolina Central's head coach, and he was yelling at his offensive line as they were getting ready. He said, this game is on y'all, Biggs. Biggs, listen to me. This game will be about y'all, and that is exactly what happened. The game plan was to run the ball, and they did. Davis Richard was really impressive, the quarterback for the Eagles. He he really reminded me a lot of Dak Prescott, just body type and playing style, good arm, and a very powerful runner on, on scrambles. But when Jackson State did stop the run or went on first down and making them go to second and long, third and long, Davis Richard put the ball up, and their receivers for North Carolina Central consistently beat and won against Shiloh Sanders and Travis Hunter. The best that they had out there was consistently getting beat. I'm just going to say, Shiloh and Travis, Travis in the first half, he looked checked out. Shiloh. Look, checked out in the, the first half and the second half. Shiloh did not start the game for whatever reason, but he got in on the back half of the first quarter. Um, Travis, Travis Hunter's fumble on offense also hurt the team, I think. But, oh, my gosh, just getting to Shador. Just a grown man just out there. He was a playmaker, very efficient. Despite the fumble and no real run game, he made a lot of plays with his feet. I do not. Th- I just think he held on to the ball a little too long at times, which is a con of his in in his in his game as a quarterback. He took a long sack in the red zone uh, because no one was open. He has to learn how to throw it away. He took another long sack in the last minutes of the fourth quarter, and and you know he put his team back. He he ended up making uh, tying the game. Uh, with Shador, I think he's he thinks he is more elusive than he actually is. He's faster than quick. But to be elusive, you need to be quick. <laughs> but but after that, he then turns into the man. Shador turns into the man. Last second, fourth and ten, touchdown strike to Travis Hunter. Best on best connection on the team. Sending the game to mother bleeping overtime. I was just so unbelievable just I couldn't believe all the things that were happening North Carolina Central controlled the game they just couldn't control Shador Sanders and Shador ended up when the when they went in overtime going 28 for 36 for 339 yards and four touchdowns and at the end in overtime he actually put them in position to tie the game the person just dropped the ball the uh, tight end I think his name was Hagler but all in all it was a great game both teams had costly penalties, but again, North Carolina Central controlled the game by being more physical, but again, they just couldn't control Shador Sanders. He was a bleeping headache throughout the whole entire game for them. Now, on, on the, again, on the other side, I think the losses on Jackson State's defense, unfortunately, they did not finish the mission. And I know that was the big thing. They just didn't finish it. I think a lot of the players seem to be checked out, especially on the defensive back end, and, you know, Congrats to North Carolina Central. I mean, it is what it is. On the Colorado for Coach Prime, and we'll see how it goes in the, in the next season. T Coach TC, t- you know, comes on as head coach in uh, the spring, and they'll build on what they have. But a very, very, very exciting game. I'm really interested to see what Jackson State's going to be next year, and whether they're going to be up for the challenge of for revenge. Because this was a very close game. And let me take take that back. North Carolina Central should not have any had any business going into overtime with Jackson State. The only reason why they ended up being in business to get into, into going to overtime was Shador Sanders. He flat out showed, he was the MVP, he flat out showed how he could easily be a major big-time Heisman candidate for the Colorado Buffalo. 
and if I'm a Colorado fan, I'm excited because I know Dion and 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 the coaching staff and um, the rest of the players did not get the Celebration Bowl win. But the only reason why it was in overtime, the only reason why this game came down to a last-second drop by a tight end who was wide open in the end zone is Shador freaking Sanders. He threw no interceptions, uh, ended up dealing with uh, costly penalties, people getting ejected, fumbles, people dropping the ball, and still almost won. The kid is flat-out special, and I, I, I was just – blown away this was his this was Shador's best performance I've seen I've seen a lot of Jackson State games this year and I will say this is the best one he's done because he was going against a better team with a better game plan their game plan was to keep the ball out of his hands for good good freaking reason Shador literally took three steps and showed what kind of quarterback he can be when he's not he's not on the best team but he's the best player on the field unbelievable unbelievable performance and um, I think it's it's a good sign for the future I know you know after this the transport for part of portal is already open so everyone expects Shador to go to Colorado which is a big thing we don't know where Shiloh's gonna go so we'll we'll see how how that goes uh, honestly I think he's gonna stay at Jackson State if you if you had to give a, a projection or a reason on it the only reason why I say that, again, he seemed to be checked out. He did not show the ability of a SEC uh, caliber um, uh, safety as he was at, at South Carolina. He didn't show the capability of a, a top person in that game. He just wasn't. I, I didn't see that there. So to say, I mean, I know Colorado was one and whatever. So, yeah, assumably he could play. But was he a difference maker? No. Was Travis Hunter a, a difference maker today? He was an absolute unbelievable catch at the end, and he made some big-time catches as a wide receiver. But as a DB, he was getting burnt up. Oh, oh, like toast, man. He was getting burnt by those North Carolina Central wide receivers. And they didn't put the ball up a lot. They didn't. Every time they had to put the ball up, they had to make a catch. They made the catch on Travis Hunter. So I, I'm not excited about his defensive backs, you know, potential currently. Don't don't get me wrong. This, he's still a freshman. He can end up being very, very great. But that was super concerning, super concerning on the defensive back end. But as wide receiver, he was unbelievable. He, he was there. He had that costly fumble, but, you know, that, that tends to happen. But my goodness, what a game. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Heritage Sports Podcast. That was one of the better games this season. Just back and forth with Shador leading the charge. North Carolina Central comes out with the win. It was a great team win by them. And I'll talk to y'all then.